Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is the second video of how to use the light shapes in Arnold Lighting in 3ds Max. Now, I have already discussed some of the basic uh, light shapes. In this video, we are going to discuss the rest of them. So, just create a uh, Arnold Light. It's by default in the we usually have a, a default of uh, quad shape, quad type. Now, I'll start with the distance which I left from the uh, previous video. So the distance video usually add we, we actually use for creating the sunlight. So this is a light which is coming from a, a almost kind of an infinite and uh, it this creates a very sharp edge shadow uh, just like the sunlight is. So if you click on the active shade it's way too bright so what you have to do is you can oh my intensity is way too high so I can reduce that I can reduce the exposure to let's suppose one great uh, so it's still calculating okay great I have to yeah my view is locked fine great so what I what I what I'm actually seeing over here that you can see the edges of the shadow is quite sharp and as it is at, uh, at exactly on the top so it's it's shadow is actually uh, uh, getting absolutely from from the top it's like the midday uh, kind of uh, situation so there are two ways to get the angles of this particular light one is definitely you can rotate this one and immediately you can see uh, the the shadow has been angled out now you you might be you know uh, mis misguided by this particular uh, value of angle this angle is not actually meant for for angling the the light itself so this is something really uh, interesting I mean uh, I don't know why they have uh, uh, named it as an angle perhaps this angle is about uh, about the sun sun rays which is actually entering into the atmosphere for that because if you increase the angle value to some extent you can see the edges of your shadow are getting you know uh, smoothed out okay so this is something really uh, comes handy when you really don't want a very sharp edge shadow in the, from the distance light distant light great so one way is to rotate the the light another way is you know turn on the targeted option for the light properties and then you just move your light or move your target object uh, inside your scene that is also going to uh, create the same effect right great so next will come sky dome now immediately you can see that the entire environment actually been lit up completely so the reason is this is also uh, actually comes handy for exterior lighting or sometimes even interior lighting where you want to fill up your entire scene uh, uh, and you know equally distribute the the light setup it's very handy for for creating some interior uh, setup so let's see what are the different options so there are three options are out there one is resolution format and portal mode now resolution is actually uh, controlling uh, the amount of uh, a glossy reflection of the sky dome and it actually comes with where, where if you are using any texture or if you are using any HDR map in your environment that is going to be calculated uh, through this light so if you are it's sort of an uh, image based lighting you know and this resolution the more the uh, higher you, you you put up the resolution I, the computing time and power will, will take time definitely and but also it will create a, a, a accuracy in terms of the lighting is concerned for the envi environment now just reduce the intensity a little bit more yeah that's fine 
okay so that's the resolution and another thing is the format now there are three different kind of format uh, which is one is mirror bald angular and lat long now what are these uh, uh, what is the difference between these formats now i would like to show you an image which you can you where you can actually understand the difference between these two so this is the lat long image which we generally use for for our scenes uh, other forma formats are the mirror balls and the angular so, so you can see the mirror balls are actually uh, sort of similar but a little difference in terms of the details are out there so mirror ball is way more detailing and lat long is sort of an uh, uh, projected uh, uh, two dimensional projection of of that particular uh, uh, hdr uh, so these are the three different options that we can use and then it comes the portal mode now portal mode is a very interesting one and for that i would like to create one more light in my scene and i would like to keep that particular scene as a quad one great now i want this as a portal so what you have to do is you have to turn on the portal option in the quad type so this option only available in the quad type so you have to you have to be very careful if you want to create a portal now if the moment if you hit portal and you set it an interior only now immediately you can see your portal light which i have created from uh, from another light that has been actually taken into consideration and that particular environment light which is coming from an infinity and it's actually uh, filled up the entire uh, scene uh, in a in a random basis that is not happening uh, right now so what is happening is it's actually creating a light source from this particular uh, this particular light which i have been created and tell uh, arnold that you know what this is this is the portal from which i want my light to come in now this is really interesting now i can change the position of my portal to you know change the change the uh, uh the light uh, uh the 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 entire effect of of the light now this is really really interesting and whereas ev everything else can be everything else can be controlled from from here well the, the once you set the portal mode either interior or you want you don't want it if you if you set up an interior exterior it will be almost like none so if you want to use this as a portal then you have to uh, uh convert it to a the option into interior only and immediately you can see the light has been coming through that particular uh, 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 extra light that I've created. Now everything now has been shifted. Ev entire control has been shifted to this particular uh, uh, quad light rather than this uh, uh, sky dome uh, light over here. You can see now if I change this intensity over here in the sky dome intensity you can see it's actually affecting uh, this particular uh, portal light uh, which actually is a quad light uh, I have created so they are absolutely connected with each other and they are exchanging the information uh, in between to set up the light so that's about the sky dome and next thing I would like to oops yeah the next thing is it will be photometric now photometric light is something 
we, where you can use uh, some files now this is a very specific file that is a IES light file where you have to uh, you have to set up a, 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 a shape of that particular light and there is a very interesting thing about this IES light okay I have called upon an IES, IES light now see the problem of of this IES light is the IES light has to go near a at least a a surface you know you need to in increase the intensity it's quite a one exposure to eight fine great now you can see there is a pattern in the light and but you cannot see the pattern if it is on, uh, on a mid air scenario like this so see see my wall is absolutely way behind behind the light so this kind of light is actually meant for the interior designs so where where you actually you know create this kind of uh, light to you know uh, give it a a very fancy look inside inside your home now this pattern can be changed as per the IES uh, uh, information that are there y there there are lots of lots of uh, IES files are uh, I files are available in the you know uh, internet you can use them uh, as as per your requirement of the scene and the radius the there's only one uh, this thing uh, parameter is there which is radius which is absolutely the same it will uh, you know uh, now the problem is my object is way too bigger for that let's put something like this because I need to show the effect of the radius the problem is if the, the radius is a similar like any other any other light where you will you know have a smoothen out uh, a shadow uh, the 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 shadow will be smooth out rather than uh, a hard edge so it's all about the same thing great after that I'd like to change it to mesh now to be very honestly uh, this mesh light in Arnold yet not uh, implemented properly in 3ds max now see why I'm saying this uh, let's create a debut which is a very powerful tool in 3ds max everybody loves teapot great fine now select the light and you can see there is only on one option which is a mesh and you have to pick up the mesh so click on the none select the object and immediately you can see your teapot is actually glowing but the problem is that teapot is not glowing act actually so it's it seems that there is a bulb uh, inside the teapot which is actually creating the light which is not exactly what we intend to do so here we usually cheat you know uh, by putting up a, a material and call a Arnold standard surface material and use the emission value to create the same effect now here is something really really interesting that emission also uh, create a similar sort of lighting over here you can see uh, 
the value of emission if we reduce the value of emission the entire light the the, the the intensity of the light it actually been reduced so you have to be very very careful over here that how much you are going to use this particular value and how much you are going to increase uh, the intensity from here so let's suppose increasing the this intensity is also going to increase the intensity of your entire scene and sometimes what will happen that you can burn out like this particular uh, scene right now in front of your uh, screen so w you have to balance out both the values and achieve the desired result on on your uh, yeah on your yeah, you have to just balance it out from the both side one is from the density as well as from the emission value and you can achieve that one but yet this particular thing has be hasn't been actually been uh, you know uh, uh, implemented properly yet in in 3ds max it's still in the development stage and that's why you can see that the the light shape visibility is still uh, missing uh, f from being active so this is all about the light shape, different kind of light shape. Hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you very much.